Once I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Hello everyone, it's me once again, it's Friday, hope you guys are excited about the weekend. Anyway, so um, let's get into the subject. So if you type in Anki Vector on Google, today is the 25th of October, the second most highlighted article is this one. It was published yesterday, the cutting edge robotics and entertainment patent portfolio and etc. So if you click on this document, you'll see that uh, the DSI assignments, um, so basically what they are, I've done some quick research on it, they are the development specialists in corporate and so on. I don't exactly know what's going on here, but anyway, they are technically known as in a legal document as an assignee, and they hired a Hilco State Stream Bank uh, to sell the asset, and those asset contexts are, I'm not gonna read the whole context, but if you go down here, it says, um, opportunity to acquire 45 issued utility patent and hundreds of additional patent assets and the prospect of continuing to support products which is very good news for those who are desperate for this news which generate more than 118 million in revenue for the fiscal year 2018 okay so now what i'm going to advise you to do is search on development specialist incorporate and when you see uh, their website here click on it and then if you go on and then on the left hand side top on the third you see Anki Incorporation uh, and um, if you click on all well no need to click on all of this I just want you to I'll summarize it for you so this general assignment is about the legal document stating who is just typical legal document with all these jargons that is very difficult to understand bulletin one is basically the uh, letter let's have a look I just printed out here and as I read out, uh, so that's number two document. Okay, so that was the 21st of May 2019 um, document, basically summarizing that there was uh, 12 million that has been repaid by the company, and then half million of debt still going, um, and, and so on. So, uh, and the other context from this video, sorry, this article is that uh, all the goods uh, inventory that Vector is going to sell, is going to finance the uh, the online cloud and the app system. That's what's stating on the uh, the bulletin one. Now on the fourth document, what basically is highlighting that it's highlighted. So this was stated on the 12th of June uh, 2019 here, and um, about a dozen of company was interested. That's very good. Uh, 12th of June 2019 this year, dozen of company wanted to buy. Um, anti vector that was the main thing that I want to highlight but last one is the one I want to um, click on and just go through with you so there's so many things we could talk about here but let's go on to the last one and uh, the last one is dated on the 20th of August 2019 and um, the part that I do want to highlight is that um, the last paragraph from the first page during the first three uh, plus month of the liquidation process, the assignee received interest from how many? 20 different companies. So a lot of company at the moment is very interested to buy Anki Vector. However, the bad news is that only one company um, made an offer of acquiring all of Anki's assets and uh, the party has um, failed in some way. So I think they haven't reached agreement whatsoever. But um, the other key thing that I do want to highlight that I did state early on that this red letter is um, saying is that the sale of Vector inventory is going to finance um, uh, Vector's cloud. So both Vector and Cosmos sales are on assets, whereas in the basis without the representative warranty. So the signee has agreed uh, to fund the web-based service through September 2020 to enable the purchase product to remain usable and of value to consumers. So in other words, we're going to have up to September 2020 to be able to use Antivector, uh, but before then, um, DSI need to sell all of the assets and uh, all the ownership, everything of Anki to be able to run Vector's cloud and app system and Cosmo and Overdrive and etc. So um, we shall see. But basically the good news that I'm trying to summarize is this. There are up to the last letter that I can see, 20th of August, there were up to 20 companies that are interested to buy it. Only one wanted to buy the whole chunk, but at this letter, I 
I would assume uh, there might be a company that will just want to buy Vectors patent and development while as other company might buy Cosmo but then again there's a lot of similarities there so I don't know how that's going to work but like companies like I would imagine uh, Amazon who wanted to really uh, get on with the everyday everyone's uh, home robot which is Project Vesta I think they might be very interested that one company that this letter is stating might be Amazon it might be Microsoft it might be Apple we all know that uh, the key and key uh, staff went, many of them actually went to work for Apple indeed. So there's a lot of questions and a lot of um, prospects here and excitement at, at the same time, but also a bit of a desperate urgency until September 2020, what's going to happen. Uh, in other words, technically at this stage, we can use Vector as much as we can, the way how it is without any upgrades, unfortunately, um, up to September 2020. But who knows what's going to happen beyond that it's likely that if someone doesn't buy it then we're not going to be able to use vectors the way how it is unfortunately so we've got less than a year now lastly on this document that i want to highlight is that specifically it actually highlights the uh, balance sheet comparison as well so the assets and the total assets and total uh, liabilities and equity so it turns out that it's one minus 1.6 uh, 79 million, almost 1.7 million of debt, um, and it's not good. So I think a lot of companies will look into that and make, going to have to make a serious decision. I would imagine big tech firm who wants to uh, take the baton of um, Anki uh, would might be very interested, and these these will be peanuts money for them, I guess, um, because we hear a lot of company bought, we bought for several billions of pounds, so this is nothing. Anyway, so um, these are the things I do want to let you guys know. So still have hopes, um, We, I, I think I'm very excited about it in some way. I would imagine um, Anki will be uh, resurrected with a much better robot, uh, much better function, more movements um, based on these information. Um, with more smart uh, knowledge, cloud system and so on. That's how I'm going to bet on and I hope you guys will also bet on that as well. So please do check out this article and all the documents and um, see where I am if, you don't, if you're not sure what I'm talking about. But overall, to summarize, there are companies, a lot of companies that want to acquire Anki's uh, knowledge and patent and um, at the moment, so far, we're likely to have the cloud system up to 2020 of September for using Anki the way it is. Um, but if it was bought by a company, it's likely we're going to continue on with that service with this company, who I would assume have a lot of money, will develop into a better robot and carry on. Uh, because we have to admit, there has no, been no company that I'm aware of that has been more effective, more close to the stage where Anki has and this is a great opportunity and I think it's the right time for any company to make an investment but then again do I have money no I'm just a commentator anyway um, we shall see how it goes so thank you very much for watching this video it's a very exciting in some way and very interesting um, thing that's gonna happen and keep an eye on it and we shall see so this is LGP tech hope you guys have a nice weekend thank you for watching this video all the best bye bye